guys, it's Megan and welcome to my first official YouTube video. For today's video, the movie that we are going to be talking about is, drum roll please, Jaws. Okay, so Jaws is a 1975 American thriller directed by Steven Spielberg and it was based off of Peter Benchley's 1974 novel. In the film, a man-eating great white shark attacks beachgoers at summer resort town, Amity, prompting police chief Martin Brody to hunt it with the help of marine biologist Cooper and a professional shark hunter, Quint, to basically go on this journey and hunt the shark. Go into the interesting facts about filming this movie because let's just say it was not easy they faced many bumps along the way like for right off the bat they switched directors before uh, like it was before filming the movie but they still switched directors because steven spielberg was not the original and part of the reason why they switched directors is the original the uh, the original director was very like persistent about no i want this movie to be about a whale and obviously the writer of the book was like no i want this to be about a shark the next thing would be that they had a very hard time um getting permission from the town of martha's vineyard in massachusetts where this film was filmed because the town just they didn't want them like messing it up I guess you could say, and so the only way that they got permission to film was if they promised to put everything back the way they found it, even the trash. We have one more, and like the biggest thing that could have happened for this film. So because obviously they used real sharks in some parts of it, but it was mostly they needed a mechanical shark, and they had three different mechanical sharks and not one of them worked. They had so much trouble filming because either people were asking them what they were filming and then they would have to reset everything up which would take hours. Or like for instance, the first time they tried to film, the shark sunk because they didn't practice beforehand. So this caused Steven Spielberg to have to change his entire vision for the film and film it from the shark's point of view because they just couldn't get it right and that is part of the reason why and yes i have the exact time written down you do not see the shark into until exactly an hour and 21 minutes into the film now on to some of the good things that happened for this film so jaws was originally supposed to come out during christmas time but was pushed back to summer due to filming taking so long and going past its due date because there were so, so many struggles. And it was, ended up being the first film to define the concept of a summer blockbuster because during this time, a summer blockbuster was normally a lower budget film and then your bigger films came out during Christmas. This one is pretty interesting. So a real shark, not a great white, um, was used in the film for the scene where Hooper escapes the shark. The real life shark ended up getting stuck in the cage and it worked out so perfectly that Steven Spielberg decided to just keep it in the film because I feel like they honestly needed another, they needed a win and this was one of them. If you're interested in researching more on this film, I'll leave some links down below. But I think we can all agree that even though this film was a pain in the butt to film, it ended up being, it still lives up to its glory, even if you can tell the shark is fake. It, it's so good, it's such a classic, you have to like it. If you're a movie lover, you just, you have to love this film, it's a classic. Like to this video, please feel free to like and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.